Let me tell you guys something. One of my biggest issues of doing this show is giving you guys the proper help and treatment you need. The treatment just basically means sit down and listen. So, basically, because, uh, well, basically, this week is my week, so, as you can see here, I'm red red to help out the cause for all schools. All schools created this because they want to help teach kids about drugs and how to not use drugs. So I looked up some tips while while I was at work. While I was at work, I had a, I was looking up some stuff on how to talk to kids on drugs and and some really just hit me. It's like and it's just Red River Week. I mean, that's why it's all about Red, Red River Week. Teach your kids how not to use drugs and alcohol. We're gonna focus much of all that this week by uh giving you guys a guide on how to talk to your kids about drugs, how to talk to your kids about the same thing, and how to talk to your kids about alcohol. And focus more on related stuff like driving while high, driving while intoxicated, driving under the influence, and most importantly, underage drinking. So we're gonna start off with the uh, we're gonna start off with talking to kids of drugs. I'm not gonna spend the rest of the half hour. I'm just gonna give you guys some basic tips. These are just eight tips, just from uh, healthparkspediatrics.com. So. I need you to really listen up. And kid, so I need you to send parents. I need you to pull up, a, get your kids, pull up a chair, and listen very well. Because this is this is the only show that's going to get you some help on this. And if you don't know how to, well, I'm going to help you talk about it. This is your only guide. So what I would do if I were you is just listen. So, keep it age appropriate. Don't start talking to them about substance abuse early in their lives. However, how you talk to them about what matters. Make sure you're leaning to them in the ways they understand. Be schools don't respond to the same logic and vice versa. And it's also the same thing as substance abuse. Partnership for free drugs, I mean, it's all about drug prevention. Preschoolers their ears all about laying the foundation of healthy habits. What can you say? Vitamins help your body grow. You need to take them every day so you can grow up big and strong. Explain the importance of taking care of our bar of your bodies of your bodies. Celebrate your child's decision-making skills whenever possible. Help your child avoid dangerous substances. Keep substances out of sight and out of reach of kids. Turn frustration into a learning opportunity. Help your child understand the difference between make-believe and real life. Early elementary. I mean, I'm not going to go through every detail. Listen, I'm not going to go through... All of this, if I were if I were to talk to those dudes another half hour, I'd report from another another place, which I'm not going to. Also, you need to be clear about be clear about rules and reasons. Give them the reasons why it's so important to follow that rule because drugs are dangerous and drugs are bad. Okay? It's a bad thing to do drugs, so it's not bad. We're doing drugs because it's not bad. Drugs are bad. Okay? And also lay down the law. Okay? Talk about many consequences, not just punishment. Like, cigarette smoking can affect the appearance of hygiene, attractiveness in peers, yellow teeth, bad skin, bad breath, coughing, constant cigarette smell. Other teens may not want to be around smokers during this reason. 
Joe Driver causes injury and death. We're going to get into that just get into that just a minute. Substance abuse at all times can affect their athletic performance, like football. That's why drug testing is mandated in all schools. Mention how expensive a substance and habit is. According to the Smoke Free Cup, a day smoker in the U.S. spends an average of $2,200 on cigarettes every year. Alcohol and illegal drugs have even more. They may have something else you might want to spend money on. Explain addiction. Like, what it means and how it can happen. Emphasize responsibility in young adults. Also, don't stop talking. Don't stop. Don't stop talking. Discuss it every day at every age. Now, I said I wasn't going to go much into this, but... Drugfree.org has a lot of things like... Going back to the elementary days or preteens, scenario: Your child experiences curiosity about the pills they take. Because just because in a family medicine camp doesn't mean say for kids, if you say it's okay, just say no. My parents won't let me take something that doesn't have my name on it. Your child chooses not from school doesn't much. I know how you experience style, but it's why you have a dress code. Prevention tips, start to your kids, keep discussions, discuss the difference between medical use and legal uses, set clear with expectations, work on problem solving together, get to, and get to know your child's friends. Alright, we're going to take a break. Alright, let's take a break here. Next, we're going to get more drug tips for you, with, starting with preteen and teenagers, and then later, we're going to talk about drunk driving. And then later, later on in this broadcast, a lot about drunk driving. So I need you to listen, pay pay very close attention. Because this is with Rumor Week, and I need you guys to understand this. If you don't talk to your kids about this issue, then they're going to go out and do something bad and rob stores like and be sent to juvenile hall. And in the state of Texas, it's, the, it's against the law of real calling school grounds. We'll be right back. Let's move on to the preteen years. Preteens are trying to figure out their place in the world, trying to give their friends opinions of a great deal of matter. At the same time, they're also beginning to question their parents' views and rules. This shows natural, healthy part of normal processes. Your child, in the scenario, your child started middle school, you know it's more likely that they will be exposed to substances at school or social environments. What can you say? Say things I know we talked about you were younger, but you're the age now you might be seeing or hear about kids vaping, smoking, drinking, using drugs. I want you to remember that our family does not allow any substance abuse. It's bad for your health. Teenagers, like this scenario here, you you're with your child and you're both known as a few kids baby. It's, it's really you could say anything say something like this. It really concerns me to see those kids vaping. I know it's becoming more common among kids your age, but that doesn't mean it's safe. What do you think about vaping? Do your friends do it? Well vaping may be popular in activities with some teens. It is considered safe, especially for teens and young adults whose brains aren't developing. Set clear, set clear expectations and explain why you don't want your child vaping. In high school, you can be fine in your life. Want you to enjoy yourself and your friends. Might be an underpriced drug alcohol, which, which is underage drink. I'll get to that in just a minute. You have lots of decisions to make for yourself. So, it's all about the drugs. I'll get to talk to your kids about I'll get to your teens talking about alcohol in the next show. But what I want you guys to okay. What I need you guys to understand, this is very important to talk to your child and your teen about drugs. If you don't do such things like that, you're gonna end up putting peer pressure on them. They're gonna understand like, oh, it's cool to go smoke. And uh, a big message in black would help you guys understand Dab 
Drugs are bad. Remember this. Talk to your kids about this. If you don't talk to your kids, they're going to go out and do drugs, and yet you're going to sit there and wonder, Oh, gee, why did I talk to my child about drugs when he was a child? I feel so bad. Because you are weak. You are weak. You've got to be strong here. Look, you've got to be strong. Let me tell you something. When I was in school, I never did drugs. I never did drink. I'm with the school on this. I'm going to help. And I've devoted my entire life to help. But with this comes paying the price. We, you have to talk to your kids. It's not too late to turn this around. It's never too late. It's never too late to talk to your kids at a certain age when they, when they start growing and their brains are developing. And doing drugs in school, that is a bad idea. That can get you in a lot of trouble and that is what leads you to juvenile hall. That is what gets you to the death chair and that is what's taking you to court. So if you don't want to do drugs, stay away. That's why there's vagrants out there that will peer pressure you into doing drugs and take everything that you own and start to sell it. And sell, sell, sell until you have nothing left. And how about kids taking drugs from their parents? Well, on the Dr. Phil episode, this lady... This lady trying to just take all the drugs, and he was like, where'd you get that? And your mom, like, sinked on my head. Gee, mom, what are you, a dealer? You can lock it in the safe. You can lock it in the vault. You can lock it at a friend's house. You can lock it everywhere. You don't leave available drugs out for a junkie. Do you get that? Well, you better get that. Nobody has a right to underage drinking, and we'll talk about that when we come back, and I need you parents to turn this on now. Talk to your teens and talk to your kids. We'll be right back. Look, if you start high school and middle of high school, you're going to be the one doing underage drinking, and parents... You are going to be talking to your tweens about these underage drinking. How do you talk to your teen about alcohol? You need to... I mean, why do these teens drink? They're they're only vulnerable in alcohol use. According to MayoClinic.org, in effort to become more independent, teens take, try to take the game risk about new thrown situations. This might include drinking alcohol. If you want self-conscious, look up to friends with media and clue, media for clues how to measure up. This and that. And if you're gonna, and parents, you need to watch this. When you talk to your, when you talk about underage drinking, ask teens' views, debunk myths, discuss reasons not to drink, plan ways to handle peer pressure, and be prepared for questions. And also the consequences of underage drinking for you guys, you, that's right, you underage 21 fuckers out there, I'm talking to you. Since you fuckers like to earn a range drink, these are the consequences. Alcohol laying facilities, traffic crashes, cause of death, teen drowning, suicides, murders, malignant alcohol use, sexual activity, school problems, alcoholism, violent crimes. You better put down that bottle. And there's other ways. You need to support your the parents out there, there are other ways. You need to support your teen, know your teen's activities, establish rules and consequences, set an example, and encourage a healthy encourage healthy friendships. If you if you like if you're gonna go out to a party and someone peer pressure you to drink, just say, My mom wanna drink, so neither am I. And that's why there's mandatory drug tests in all schools. Because of things like this. So, let me talk about this. 
This is what I call AIB. Or DIB. Drinking is bad. You get the message here, folks? Drinking is bad. And if you don't get the message, you're living under a rock or you're staring down drunk while having sex with your girlfriends. Get the message here. Stay out of this alcohol. Stay out of it. Just because your parents drink doesn't mean you have to follow in their footsteps. I don't drink for a reason. I don't want to follow, follow in my dad's footsteps. If my dad told me to drink beer, no. I would say, hell no. I don't drink, period. I don't smoke. Period. Which brings me to tobacco cigarettes. Oh boy. I have waited for to talk to you about this. This is the one that gets underneath my skin, which I haven't talked about in five years. Which means underage smoking. And there is a law in Texas. There's a new rule. June 7th, Texas lists 17 other states that voted up to smoking against for the last few years. From 18 to 21. And this was back, this was two years ago. And now under 18, if you smoke under 18, you're going to have problems. Kids, on the other hand, this is why it's way of We had to talk to our kids about not smoking. Which brings the question, how do you, what do you say, how to you talk to your kids about smoking? Well, the Lund, well, the Lund.org has some tips. It's glamorized movies, television shows, and online parents are the most important influences in their children's lives. Tell your children honestly that you don't want them to smoke cigarettes, use these cigarettes, or use any type of tobacco product. You give them clear consent messages about these products. Tell them different products includes different products. This includes their true ask. Start talking to your kids about smoking when they're five, six years old. Explain through the high school years. Many kids start smoking age 11 to 14. Explain the health dangers and the side effects. And the youth are using e-cigarettes. And it's rising at an alarming rate. So make sure you talk to your kids about this as well. Set good example for your kids. If you're a parent who smokes, the best thing you do is quit. You need to talk to your kids about difficult. My mom smokes. She didn't quit. And there's people who go, go cold turkey. Establish a smoke-free policy in your home. Do not allow anyone to smoke indoors at any time. Out, like, if you're a smoke-free zone, you need to set the bar. If you're going to have someone living in your house and you, if you don't smoke, and you're going to have people over, just set the bar and say, I don't smoke. You, if I don't smoke, then you don't smoke. Support the tobacco-free schools and insist that school health programs include tobacco use for veterinary education. That is what they need. That's my this. Here's my proposal. Every school should have a school-based health center. Somewhere, I don't know, probably in in a, a building or somewhere. 
Find out if you have any have any friends that smoke or vape, and talk to your talk talk to your kids about ways to refuse an e-cigarette. You've got to teach your children to say no. If you catch a teen if you catch a teen smoking or vaping any threats, ask a few questions to find out why you're not smoking or vaping. They may want to be accepted to a peer group or want your attention. Ask your child about smoking and vaping, about the smoking and vaping, and point out they're already addiction. Lastly, take action. Freedom from freedom from smoking to learn. Visit freedom from smoking to learn about proven quit program or call. 1-800-LUN-USA, talk to a specialist or with a LUN help helpline. This was back when, this was last year. And if you don't do something about it, there's going to be deaths. Smoking can cause death. That's what's been in the media for years. Even e-cigarettes. We need, we need to make sure that kids are getting the message. Smoking's bad. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. Smoking, drugs are bad, alcohol is bad, and SIB Smoking is bad. Alright? Get it through your head, young smokers. You can quit cold turkey or go to programs. There are ways. And if I see anyone under the age smoking, then I'm going to send an email to them schools. And if you smoke on school property, then the law is the law. Break it. Go to jail. We'll be right back. We're out of time, but we're just getting started here. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to talk. I'm going to tell you how you can talk to your teens about smoking, drink, smoking, drinking, and drug taking, as well as the side effects of smoking and the side effects of alcohol. I barely begin to scratch the surface this week, and I'm willing to help you. But with that help comes, you need to watch this show. This right there is where I do the show to help you guys understand smoking's bad, drugs are bad, drinking's bad. We're also going to talk about LSD and marijuana. And there's a good episode I, of South Park Life for you and your child to watch that way y'all can understand. If you don't tell to, talk to kids about this, they're going down the hole. They do drugs, they underage drink, and you know what to do, they're going to be dead. And you're going to be left wondering what happened. It's because you failed your child. It's all this issue to cut me a break. Tuesday, see you again tomorrow morning. And only tomorrow morning. If you don't talk to your kids about this, you're not going to get much sleep. Good night.